day, people! This is Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number one of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you look mine down below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Guys, we are here back in Johto and we are here to do things Egglock style, which we haven't done in well over a year. Last time we did an Egglock was Alpha Sapphire. But lo and behold, we are here. So let's get this show on the road. We don't need no info. We are good to go. And I just paused it. Whoopsie. And I paused again. <sighs> what? What? What is it? Already late? Oh no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. So that already tells you guys what Storm. This is the ROM hack of Soul Silver. It's called Storm Silver. And if you guys know what it is, it is basically someone has upped the difficulty in this game to pretty much. I've watched other people, and it is pretty crazy how difficult they made this game. So, hope you guys enjoy. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. Let me show you a native Pokemon. That's a Meryl. The Johto and Kanto regions were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders, but large-scale migration has brought a great variety to the region's fauna. There are new challenges awaiting you and a great amount of differences in how you raise your Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Um, you know what? I think I was a ch I was a dude last time. You know what? I'll give some girl power here. So you're a girl. Yes, in this game, I will be a girl. Tell me your name. Well, I think we'll keep it. Uh, oh my God, I gotta stop hitting that button. I gotta change that button afterwards. Uh, all right, so we are gonna go with. Because they're, and they're one character short of a full name, so that's what we're going to go. Sharpino is in the house. Yes, it is. Sharpino, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. If you ever want to find out some of the changes, check the documents that should have come with your game. Most, if not all, information you need should be contained there somewhere. But play as you like, for you might enjoy playing the unknown. Either way, be sure to have fun, Dre, as in Drano, who did the uh, Pokemon Blaze Black, Vault White, um, ROM hacks as well. So I'm pretty excited to play this for the reasons that, as I mentioned in this game, that... Oh. Let's read Ethan's mail. Adventure, excited, I love Pokemon, Ethan. Okay, who would have thought we would have mail already? Uh, is there anything else we get in the PC? No? Okay, just just the mail. I thought we were going to get a, a, a potion or something, but uh, maybe that comes a little bit later. But, like I said guys, this is a ROM hack, which means this is a lot more difficult than the original Soul Silver. Not randomized, it's just the game, but difficulty has been amped up. So hopefully we guys enjoy this. And the best part is, you guys send me the Pokemon I go ahead and add. Um, just a heads up for you guys. I still technically need eggs for this Let's Play. So if you guys want to send more eggs, I'll leave a comment, a link down below to a video showing you guys how you can send eggs and be a part of this Let's Play. Because at the moment we've got about 22, 24 eggs at the moment. And for a Let's Play this size, we obviously need a lot more eggs. So if you guys want to send eggs and be a part of this Let's Play, I'm encouraging you guys to do so. But without further ado, let's get into the story. About time you woke up, Professor Elm wanted to see you. Here's your things. And you get everything right off the bat. I hear Johto has changed a lot in the last few years. You should be careful, Sharpina. Here, take these running shoes along with you. You'll probably want your bike as music player as well, Sharpina. Thanks, Mom. You're awesome. And thanks to Drano for actually allowing us to do that. Coolios. I'm sure you know how to use these. Oh, I hear Elm has a gift for you. Alright, so at least we can run. I think I've got to use the different buttons because I haven't configured the controls. Oh look, it's another Meryl. Seriously, it's Meryl Tastic. Does it 
Doesn't say hello, nothing. Very rude, very rude. Hi Sharpino, I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel outside their Pokeballs. I was hoping that I could he have your help with the tests. Professor- Oh hey, I got an email! Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey listen, I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. He says he has something, but we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? We you can take one of the Pokemon in the machine. Okay, so let me elaborate how this is going to work. So what's going to happen is I'm going to import the eggs that you guys gave me and put them in the game and also get rare candies. Because what happens is, if you guys know the rules of the Naglock is, whatever encounter we get, we swap it out with an egg, we hatch the egg, and that becomes the replacement encounter. So it's a bit like a randomized Nuzlocke, but you guys are giving me the food for fodder. In this case, you guys are giving me the Pokemon to compete in this Let's Play. So... As soon as we get the opportunity to go ahead and swap a Pokemon out, I've obviously got to put the eggs in, get the red cans in, and the Pokemon that we replace it with it becomes the same level as the Pokemon we're replacing with. So, example, um, we get a starter here that starts with level 5. When we swap it out with an egg, it's going to be swapped in, it's going to patch a level 1, but we give it 4 red cans to make it level 5. If you guys don't know the rules, I'll leave a list of rules in the description of this video down below. So, let us continue on. So, our starters, to have a look here. Now, my favourite starter, I mean, it goes without saying, it is clearly Totodile. It is one of my favourites. I would say it is the fan favourite, and I would say that's not exaggerating it, because everyone loves Totodile. Alright, so Totodile's added, give a nickname to it. Nope, because we're going to get rid of it. You ain't going to last long. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mount Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Sharpino. So, can I... Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Oh, my God. I need to stop pressing that button, dude. I'm going to change it. Uh, no. Okay. So, we have ourselves our friend over here, Mr. Mr. Toto Doll over here. Or it could be she. I haven't checked it out yet. Sharpino, I want you to have these to take with you on your task. Potions. Thank you. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and have a look at our Pokemon, eh? So it is a male, so we got that right. It is a male. And it's gentle nature. I mean, look, we're not really keeping this one, so it really doesn't matter, you know, how we go about this, but... It's always interesting to have a look. This barrel, seriously, is just so fast. Ethan. Sharpino, you got yourself a Pokemon. I gotta say, it's really cute. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around to talk to it sometimes too. If that's right, why don't you show it to your mum? See ya. And actually, while I'm here, I actually remembered. We should touch up the options. Go fast. Um, we'll go set style. And as far as the frame goes... That's how you gotta do it. Nice and red. You gotta get make it look so rad. Because red is my favourite colour if you guys uh, don't know that. Oh, Sharpino, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes a kind of request of you, it must be important. And that's right, I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Poke Gear, or Poke Gear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do remember how. Just pound the Poke Gear and touch the telephone. Okay. Thanks you give a call. I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Okay, thanks mom. Appreciate it. Great. Alright. So technically we can't catch any Pokemon, but we can go ahead and actually replace. Hey, wait one second! Yes, is there a problem? I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Great. Now we've got Professor Elm on speed dial. I'll call you if anything comes up. Thank you. I look forward to the urgent, impeding phone calls. Alright, so... Uh, I will say, guys, I do love... 
this game actually has a lot of great musical scores. I actually do like this. I honestly think it is one of the best remakes. I think most of us could agree on that. And if you don't agree with that, then I have to question you. Like, look, even though I like Gen 5, and I think Gen 5 is pretty great, um, I've got to say, the remake of HeartGold Soul Silver trumps anything that Pokemon has done so far. Like, I don't know if there's even anything that they could do that would make any sort of game any better. Like, they did so well with this game, you know, like, you know, the Pokemon walking around, kind of, um, you know, amping up Diamond and Pearl, and then even Platinum, because I think this came out, if I'm not mistaken, this did come out the same year that Platinum did, so, um, actually no, that's that's wrong. This came out a couple years after, and look, you got Gen 4 Pokemon, you got Bidoof, so that you can actually use Gen 4 Pokemon as well. So, the way this game is built, it's built that it's a lot more difficult than the original Soul Silver and um, Heart Gold. The ROM hack version obviously being Sacred Gold and um, Sacred Gold and Storm Silver. So, as we ponder through this forest over here, man, we are copping a lot of encounters here. I just hope I don't find a shiny. Because that would be very heartbreaking if I found a shiny. And it's just like, uh, yeah, um, gotta get kind of fucked up on that one. But, uh, the one thing I do actually like about this game is collecting the apricorns. Oh god, you got zigzagons here too. They look a little bit sickly, like the coloration for those is ugh. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the apricorn. Since there's nothing to put it in, there's no reason to take- Ah, oh, we don't have the apricorn bag, of course. Of course, we don't have that yet. And we have this old man over here. You're a rookie trainer, right? Let me show you around. Follow me! Well, not like I have a choice. Very agile, though. Oh, please, let me show you around. It won't take you long, I promise. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal all your Pokemon in no time at all. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Ho ho ho! Mr. Pokemon! Ha! Huh, what a conniving asshole! <laughs> this is the sea, as you can see. God. Some Pokemon are only found in water. And here is my house. As a reward for following me, take this old rod. Oh, I didn't know you get the old rod this early. Damn! Simply toss the rod in the water, and you have a chance of getting a bite. That actually is pretty interesting, because... That means we can get extra encounters then, if that's the case, because... I mean, usually he gives you a Pokemon map or whatever it is, unless it's already the Pokegear. But... As you guys are about to see, so let's go ahead and head to the PC over here. First, let's see, ball capsules can't be used, we don't have any steals, mailbox, and we don't have anything. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go ahead and, like I said, we're going to have to import um, eggs, because as I'll show you guys right here, in someone's PC, uh, we have no, well, we're going to move, not this one. Uh, God damn, I've got to use these damn controls. God damn, it's been so long. As you guys can see, my boxes are completely empty, as you can see above my head. No eggs whatsoever, but that's where you guys come in. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and come back to you guys once I've imported all the eggs that have currently been sent to me, and we can go ahead and hatch our first eggs for this Let's Play. So I'll be right back as soon as we get all the eggs imported. Okay, so we are back. We've got all of our eggs ready to go. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of these eggs that I have over here. So I do have 20 eggs over here. Now, like I said, I do need more eggs. So if you guys want to send more eggs, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go ahead and send me more eggs. Now, this first egg that we have right here in this box right here was the very first egg that got sent to me when I requested eggs about 10 months ago. So because this person... Uh, I can't remember your name, but I do appreciate you. You know, if you're watching this series, you know this is your egg. So, I will say thank you. Now, before we before we get this egg, though, I do recall that we can actually move items in this game here. 
So we do have a choice scarf. So what I'm going to say is the rule is that this item has to be held by the Pokemon that it's going to be attached to. So we have this Pokemon called Scarfa. Scarfa with like semicol uh, with semicolons more like afterwards. So now we're going to go ahead and see how long this egg is going to take the hatch because I did say to make the friendship zero. If you make the friendship zero, the egg should be very easy to hatch. And then once we get our first egg ready to go, then we can go ahead and uh, release the Turdile here because we're not using Turdile. The Turdile is only here as a starter. So basically every encounter or every gift Pokemon that we get a chance to get our hands on, we get to basically swap out for an egg. And sure enough, here we go. So we have first egg. This is going to be the starter for this Let's Play. Survey says it is a... It is a Chin Chow. Very nice indeed. So we're going to go ahead and nickname this Chin Chow. Um, it's a female and it was called Scarfa. Scarfa the Chin Chow. Alright, so Scarfa with the semicolons. That is going to be our um, our starter for this Let's Play. So let's go ahead and have a look at Scarfa over here. Let's go ahead and check out stats over here. <clears throat> okay, so it is a timid nature with Volt Absorb, and it has Discharge, Bubble Beam, Side Beam, and Signal Beam. That's quite a freaking move set. Now, to make sure this is going to be as legit as I possibly can. I'm going to go ahead and check the Gen 4 moveset because what I said I was going to do was make sure that Pokemon were legitimate for the game. So the only Pokemon moves that they're allowed to have are level 1 moves or egg breed moves. So if moves can be bred onto the Pokemon, then they are okay. If they are only taught by TM, then you can't use them. Okay, so let's have a look and check out this moveset because this moveset looks freaking bomb as fuck. Um, but at this point, I really don't have any other choice to use the Pokemon here. So, yeah, you can see that the, the, the PP is obviously a little bit over the top here. Um, sadly, this is... Okay, so let's go through it. So we have... Side Beam is a hate, is an egg move. Okay, that's a given. Um, Bubble Beam is an, a level up move. Signal Beam is also a level up move. And Signal Beam uh, is also a level up move. So we'll say level up moves, egg moves, and can be used. So this Chincha is legal. This Chincha is legal. So we can, but discharge though. Can I learn discharge? Yeah, I can. Level 34. Okay. So that'll be good. So we have ourselves a legitimate Pokemon. So that I like to do that. Alright, so now we're going to go to our bag. And we're going to go ahead and whack on these rare candies onto Scarf over here. Because it's going to be the replacement for, um, replacement for Totodile over here. So, that's actually not bad. So I do apologise for, obviously, the delay of just trying to figure it out. But, it does have the legal level up moves. So, level up moves and the egg moves is what I require. Alright, so that's that. So now we can go ahead and get our PC now. Uh, we can go ahead and release this, um, release the, um... Unfortunately, we're going to release the uh, Turtle over here. Let's go to PC, release. Sorry, Turtle, you were a starter, but now we've got a new starter. It is Chin Chow. So this Chin Chow is actually not going to be a pretty bad. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon to start things off with. So it has the exact same typing as the original Pokemon that I had to start things off with. Now we don't have any Pokeballs or anything, so the Nuzlocke technically hasn't started. However, we do have a new Pokemon, which is amazing, though. <sighs> I made it! I forgot that one thing! This is another token from me! Take it! Ah, oh, so now we have the map card on the Poker Gear. Okay! Select the Poker Gear on the touch screen, select the town map. You'll see the map of the region currently in. The Poker Gear becomes more useful the more guy cards you add. I wish you good luck on your journey! Well, thank you very much for that. Okay, so now we are here inside. Get ourselves a potion, thank you. Now, the problem that I have here is that. Excuse me. So the problem that I have is that because we use the red candy cheat, um, 
we basically, um, we were looking for, we had five potions. We were getting five potions at the thing, but unfortunately, they're gone. But now we have the apricorn box, so we can actually start collecting apricorns. Because I actually do like, in this game, the fact that you can go ahead and um, make custom Pokeballs. Um, and my favourite ball, of course, being the Heavy Ball, because you can use that to catch Heavy Pokemon. But realistically, the only thing we're worried about here is just catching Pokemon so that we can go ahead and substitute the Pokemon. Wild Cocooners, eh? Alright, let's go ahead and use our friend over here. Uh, this thing is Psychic, uh, this thing is Poison. So, Psybeam should do the work. Almost gets the kill though. Almost gets the kill. But I will say, Chinchow? Pretty good starter. Pretty good starter if I do say so myself. I think we can get some good experience off Scarfer over here. It's got some pretty awesome moves. Seriously, it's got a wide variety of movesets, which makes it so perfect. I think in, um. The person who did send the first um, Pokemon egg, his name was Paul MD. So Paul, thank you very much for that. Um, I do have you on my uh, email list. The emails that I uh, gave you guys on the video, the egg making video, so you can go ahead and send me eggs. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm pretty happy with you know, you know, doing this let's play. Um, I haven't done an egg lock in, like I said, quite a while. Like it's honestly been over a year. Let's just put it that way. And now we have Signal Beam going through here, because this thing is water and grass. Scarfa has seriously all the weaknesses. It seriously just has everything going for us. So, Scarfa looks like it's going to be definitely a contender. As we can't do another Pokemon. Oh my god, dude. We're running to so many Pokemon. Metabat. Metabat. At this point, I'm just getting a little bit more experience for my... Uh... Let's go for a Discharge. We basically may as well use every single one of our moves. So let's go for a bubble beam. I'm sure the PP will be fixed up too as soon as we go to like a Pokemon Center or something. And Scarfa is now level 6. Wants to learn Thunder Wave. Well, considering this thing is a Scarf Pokemon, um, I'm going to say no. Actually, speaking of, we don't actually have the Scarf ones. Let's go to our bag and actually put that scarf on because that's the rule, so we have to go ahead give the scarf to Scarfer alright, so now we got that sorted we're finally- oh, Cynthia! what's she doing here? oh, hello, Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young chain to arrive is your name Sharpino by any chance? yes, it is! I see, I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting my name is Cynthia, I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh Tell me, Sharpino, have you heard of the story that tells the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't. I'll briefly explain. The story tells the tale of how a trainer travels the land of Johto and Kanto, catching all the Pokémon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of Pokémon, and even the most mythical of Pokémon, to eventually come face to face with the one who the Pokémon call God. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to back in the existence of this, his story. It's interesting to be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Sharpino. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. And we just get an Eevee dropped in our laps here. The numerous possibilities of evolution for Eevee can make it a very interesting Pokemon. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve your Eevee into. Perhaps we'll cross paths again, Sharpena, but until then, farewell. Yo, we just got a free Pokemon, so you know what that means? We can go ahead and swap that out for another Pokemon. That is amazing. The fact that we already get an Eevee and, you know, our starter? God damn, son. God damn. You must be Shapino. It was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. I am Mr. Pokemon. Hoya, hoya, hoya. Oh yeah, and we get the, uh, the Togepi egg as well. That's another Pokemon we can swap out. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg. Ooh. A friend of mine from Ecrotique gave it to me. I bet you can, can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor L might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You're retained to Professor L. 
Here, you should, your Pokemon should have some rest. Bop, bop. Well, just cheery music. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're a Sharpedo. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. That I will. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. And with that, we're full squad out. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Chapino, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. Number exchange. Alright, so that's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and skedaddle. Professor Elm's calling. Yellow. Hello, Sharpedo. It's a disaster. Oh, oh, it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no. Get back here. Now. Ah, uh, no, I'm calling Mother. No. Hello. Oh, hi, Sharpedo. How's your errand going, Professor Elm? I know you're determined, but you'll be okay. Geez, not even a, you know, everything okay, you're, you're, you're okay, you're eating right, you know, no, 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 none of that, just, you should be fine, you'll be fine. It's a Caterpie! Okay, well, Caterpie can get out of here, thank you. I'm really looking forward to getting some repels over here. Oh, you can find sea dots in here, alright. We've got all the generations covered over here. Well, not really. All I've seen is Metapod and basically Gen 1 uh, thing. But, however, 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 we do have a Pokemon that we can now replace for another egg. And the way I was going to do it is I would use a number generator to go ahead and decide which Pokemon I would go ahead and replace this with. So let's go ahead and go to our PC over here as I accidentally pause my game again. So now we have 19 eggs left. So we're going to choose a number between 1 and 19. And that's going to help me um, decide number random generator. Okay. So we're choosing a number between 1 and 19. And that will tell me which Pokemon we're going to go ahead, or which egg, should I say, we'll go ahead and swap out this Eevee with. So, we'll generate the number now. Survey says... Number 17, okay, so this will be the, so egg 17, so 6, 12, 18, 17. So it will be this egg right here, so let's go ahead and have a look here. So number 17, it is Vega. Okay, with a Razor Claw, I think I know what it is. So first, before we do that, we've got to go ahead and um, take the item off. No, not get out of it and pause the, god damn it. This game really wants to test my patience. Okay, so egg number 17, so, well, I mean, technically 17 would be, be this one, but we'll go, ooh, I see two area. Okay, so first we'll get with this razor claw over here. So I have a feeling I know what egg number 18 is. Um, so, we'll go ahead now and pick up Vega, which, like I said, I have a feeling it might be the, um, oh, that's what I should do. I should keep the Pokemon and, okay. Well, it's a bit late for that now, but we can't do that. Alright, so, let's go ahead and see. So we have Vega over here. Let's see what Vega is. Something tells me it's going to be a Sneasel. Just because Vega, I, I think of like from Street Fighter with the claws. Um, you know, but we're just going to skedaddle and just wait here uh, for this Pokemon action. And here we go. Our Pokemon's going to hatch. Let's see what Vega is. Vega is... So it is in fact a Sneasel. I'm very happy with that. I like Sneasel. Sneasel's a pretty cool Pokemon. So we have ourselves a uh, Vega over here. So, all right. So we have Vega, which again, it's a Street Fighter reference. And um, let's go ahead and check out Vega and make sure that Vega is a legal Pokemon 
with level up moves or so it has adamant nature and it has ice shard ice punch fake out and bite okay that looks pretty good i'm just going to double check just to make sure that it is legal so let's check out here sneasel 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 okay so ice punch is an egg move so that's that's fine ice shard is a level up move that that's correct Fake out is level up move, that much I do know, at level, um... Oh no, it's an egg move, okay, not my bad, it's an egg move. And bite is a level up move, I'm pretty sure. Does it get bite though? Oh, it's an egg move. Okay, so these are all egg moves. Okay, so Vega is legal. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um... Forgot to say what level, um, the, um, Eevee was. Let's go ahead and head back to the PC. And we can decide to... Uh, bolster the power of Vega based off the level of the um, Pokemon that we have here. So, so move the Pokemon wherever here. Eevee was in fact level five. So we're going to go ahead and give um, Vega now five rare candies. So let's go to our box. Uh, box our bag. First off, we'll give the Razor Claw to um, Vega. And at night, when you level it up, uh, it does become, um, obviously, a uh, Weavile. So level 2. Level 3. Wrap it up, level 4. And then finally we have level 5. Okay, so, so far we've got a pretty solid team right here, not gonna lie, it's a pretty powerful team for this day so myself. So we have a sub Scarfer the Chinchow, and we have Vega the Sneasel, so a pretty good team to start things off with. But, that will be the end of it for today guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy today's first episode, it's a bit longer than I expected, I do apologise, but... It took a bit of uh, trying for me to figure out how to input eggs into the game and all that sort of thing, so I do apologise, but we eventually got there. And we've got a pretty good start to this Let's Play. So if you guys want to send eggs, like I said, link down below of how to send video, uh, how to send eggs. Email will be also there if you guys want to send eggs as well. Because, I mean, we have 20 eggs. We've already hatched two. And we're going to need a lot more eggs for this Let's Play. So the more eggs you send, the more power I get to beat this Let's Play. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button down below. Because, as always, it's always great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. Where Johto shenanigans will ensue. And let's have some fun. So until next time, I'll see you guys. Stay safe and stay sharp. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.